Hey Xsense users, this tutorial will show you how to take motion capture data exported from MVN and import that data directly onto a MetaHuman in Unreal Engine. For this tutorial, I will be using the MetaHuman sample project that can be downloaded from the Unreal Engine Marketplace website. However, this process should work for any MetaHuman. Before we begin, we need to make sure we have the MVN Puppet Import FPX. To download this file, first go to the Xsense knowledge base and search for the article FBX Import into Unreal Engine. Find section 2, MVN Puppet Import, and click on the download link here. Then click download. With that done, we can begin exporting the motion capture data. In MVN, I have opened the data I want to export. To do so, click on File, Export, Export File. Make sure the exporter is set to FBX and the output preset to Skeleton. Then hit Export. We're now done with MVN, so we can move on to Unreal. I have the sample MetaHuman project open in Unreal Engine. The first thing we want to do is import the MVN Puppet Import FBX I downloaded earlier. To keep things tidy, I'll create a folder first, and then import the FBX to this folder. The skeleton should be set to none. I will also leave force front x-axis checked, though this is not necessary. I then can go ahead and import the FBX. With the MVN puppet imported, we can now import the motion capture FBX. This time, we want to make sure the skeleton is using the MVN Puppet Import Skeleton asset. Then click Import. To begin retargeting the characters, we need to find the base skeleton for the MetaHuman. In this project, this can be found under Sample MetaHumans, Common, Female, Medium, Normal Weight, and Body. Open the skeleton, and then open the Retarget Manager window. Select Rig needs to be set to Humanoid. We then need to make sure that all the correct bones are selected for retargeting. If the bones do not show up, then simply expand the size of the window. An important thing to take note of is that the retargeting in Unreal only accepts three spine bones, so you will have to determine the choice of bones for retargeting that will get the best results for your workflow. One more thing we need to do is set the skeleton in a T pose to match that of the MVN Puppet import skeleton. Since my MVN puppet faces the x-axis, I'll need to rotate the root as well. Once the skeleton matches the pose of the MVN puppet skeleton, go to the bottom of the retarget window, click modify pose, and then use current pose. We now need to repeat this process for the MVN Puppet Import Skeleton. Again, change Select Rig to Humanoid. Then, set the correct bones for retargeting. While inside the Skeleton asset, we can also change one more setting which will solve a potential issue for later. Open the Preview Scene Set tab, and under Mesh, click Apply to Asset. After saving both skeleton assets, we can now move on to retargeting. In the main window, right-click the animation asset we imported earlier. Find Retarget Anim Assets and click Duplicate Anim Assets and Retarget. This will open a window to select a skeleton for retargeting. Assuming everything was set up correctly, the base skeleton for the MetaHuman should appear here. If it does not, double-check that you set up the skeleton assets correctly. If a model doesn't show up in these windows, we will need to go into the model skeleton asset and apply to asset under mesh as we did previously for the MVN puppet import skeleton. Once that is done, hit retarget. For any additional animation files, this process can be repeated without needing to change anything in the skeleton assets. The animation asset is created and ready to be applied. I'm going to go ahead and create a new level for clarity and then drag the blueprint of the metahumans I want into the scene. The metahuman selected, come over to the details tab and expand this part here to show the character hierarchy. Find body skeletal mesh component, come down to animation, choose use animation asset, and then choose the animation file we just retargeted. Now when I hit play, the metahuman is being animated by my imported motion capture data. 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching.